Legend of Total War here with part 1.2 of my Medieval 2 role-playing Let's Play as as the uh, Papal States, more specifically Pope Gregory the First, or whatever I don't know. Anyway, so previously we conquered Ajaccio. We conquered this settlement here, but it uh, the Venetians captured it. We took Genoa and then took Milan, wiping out the um, uh, the Milanese. We captured Tunis after they declared war on us, but we um, we reconciled with them, so it's not so bad. Your orders? I think you have the wrong. Leave me be, infidel. Probably get rid of them. Closing to engage, my lord. Our fleet is victorious. All right. So let's have a look here. So money-wise, things are looking pretty good at the moment. I mean, we've got tribute coming in from the Sicilians. They have to pay 2,000 a turn for five turns. Which I think their tribute has, has almost been paid. Noble Lord. Now, I refuse to accept a peace treaty with the Venetians while they hold... Cagliari. Now, I'm not interested in Zagreb right now, so what I'm going to do is, if they don't accept my offers next turn, I'm going to kill him, and then we'll march down south here and capture it. They're the only people... Oh, then we've got to repel the Moors. I don't know if they're out here. Maybe we'll send it... Yeah, we'll send the Pope down here to fight them. He's currently 48 years old, so I don't know how many turns we're going to get out of him. Uh, he's probably not going to die of old age until he turns 60, but I guess we'll just wait and see. Okay, now, this is going to be my main recruitment area, but we need to make sure it f actually provides enough money first. So let's let's get the mining down there, just to make a little bit of extra cash. Great thing about Medieval 2, there's no limit to build slots. You can build whatever you want. It just takes a long time to build anything. Well, I should say, it takes a long time to build everything. Merchants Guild in Venice. Sounds like a good idea. Build a small chapel in Tunis. Alright, since that's what the Pope wants, since we are the Pope, we might as well do it. Don't have enough papal favour. So they're on their way over here. We should probably try to defend it. The problem is these are expensive units. So I don't want to put too much money into that. So we're the strongest faction now, that's good. Okay, the Venetians buggered off. Did you expect Let's us have a look. So we'll today? cease fire, offer, re offer reconciliation. So they consider that demanding at the moment. Alright, what we'll do is... Let me, let me just see. If I was to offer Give Region Venice in exchange for Give Region... Cagliari. Nah, you guys are idiots, because you're going to lose you that settlement now. Your orders, <laughs> I'll leave them behind. Your Actually, no, I'll take those. Yes. We shall continue at first light. Your orders, noble one. Your it's a good opportunity to, I suppose, get these um, cavalry retrained. It's just not going to fit into that unit. Hang on, it just might. Oh yeah, cool. So that one only costs 10 in upkeep, so this would be good for a fort. So let's, um... I've got two guys order, in here. One. Right, I want Your you order, to be the, uh... One. The Count of Florence. Which 
But yeah, we'll um, maybe I'll put a fort there to block off. I don't know. We'll see how we go. But definitely don't don't just ban this unit. Just leave it somewhere because it's very cheap upkeep. So we can put these papal guard into this army here. I'm just a little bit concerned about the Byzantines in the area. Okay, now that it's a large uh, large city, we should be able to yeah have another free upkeep unit. But if I'm going to do that, I, I want to have the um, the crossbow. So let's get them in there. Emshi, my master despises okay. you. So. It's making some decent money. There's no corruption. Alright, let's let's improve the town guard so that I can recruit a better garrison here to protect it while I'm away. I think a better garrison seems like a better idea. Your orders, number one. Okay, looks good. Let's move on to the next turn. My lord, they're engaging us. But fox. Crushing defeat. Oh well. Disengage. Can easily just recruit some more ships. Dropping anchor until morn. I'll give the Moors a chance for a, for a peace treaty. Well, then again, it's hard to offer peace with them. Hmm. St. John's Minor Chapter House. Yes, that would be pretty good. So they'll give us access to the Knights Hospitaller. Yes. Yes, my lord. Now, if we're going to be traveling... Yes, my lord. ...across the Mediterranean, we need to make sure that we... ...that our, our Pope is not going to get orders, smashed. Orders. Your Actually, orders, I don't really need a governor one. here. Send him up this way. Your orders, noble one. Yes, onward. Well, I don't care. I need to traverse that area. Your orders, noble one. Your orders, noble one. Your majesty. Your orders, noble one. Okay, so we'll spend the turn Your here at orders, Florence. One. Retrain these guys. Yeah, while well, these ships are coming in. Maybe I'll get a couple more ships over here. Gotta make sure that the, the Pope is protected. Alright, so what do we need from Venice? Probably paved roads would be good, so we can trade more with Milan. We've got a trade agreement with Bologna, or with, with the um, Holy Roman Empire, so that's keeping that under control. All good, let's move on to the next turn. for some military units. Have to blockade the port for at least three turns. That's a bullshit mission. Guess Your I could send one of these guys to do it. Might take us three turns to get away there. From the fleet. Your orders? Too many fucking ships in the area. Your orders, noble one. 
orders. Get yes. the back up to full strength. Your Majesty. Yes. Move out. Combining homework. Bringing our. Now, as I said, this guy Your here orders, would be one. good to build Order. a fort. Uh, it might be best to block the road here. This is where they'll be coming from. We shall not surrender and you can be the governor right of Venice. Your orders, number one. There you go. Your orders, number one. Yes. Attacking on your command. Victory! Your orders, number one. Holding at once, number one. Stand fort, and then we'll try and travel just in one turn over to, um, to Corsica. Alright, how many more troops do you need? Seven. Your Majesty. Well, here's six. There you go. Move out. Also, this should have given us with so yes, yeah, some extra public health, so that's that'll be good. Get the population growth going. Noble Lord. Someone to see? You are lucky we will receive you at all. In fact, the Sultan has killed me. If you came to insult us, it has worked. Okay, what should we construct now? So at Tunis, what are they? Are they going to get ready to try and take this back? Because I'll, I'll send another army down to Sicily. Once they recruit another diplomat. Later. I am a soldier. Speak to our representatives. Okay, so this is a minor city, so we can only have four free upkeep units. So we get... Yeah, that seems fine. What about the cavalry? I'm pretty sure they'll have free upkeep. I mean, they're not the best. They're still better than these guys. Cool, moving on. Alright, just got me to thinking. Cavalry the inside of a city siege, my lord, doesn't make sense because I can't fight the battles manually. I've got to get out of this mindset that I'm going to be fighting a lot of these battles manually. So the Pope was called a crusade on Cairo. May preach peace, but when it is Christendom itself, I'm not going. What's the Pope's level of piety? Your orders? Nah, it wouldn't make sense for him to go. The Pope didn't historically go on crusade, I don't think. He just calls the crusade for everyone really else to go. Yes. I reckon they've still got a large army here. But we're bringing a large army. Bless you, Lord. Back on your orders? Yes, my Lord. Okay, um... So what, what are the Byzantines doing? Do they get back on the boat? Yeah. Hopefully they just go away. Yeah, let's improve the town guard. So we've got five units here. They've got... Only two. Plus, they were, aren't even able to make able to make the attack. Maybe we can repel this. God will be with us, men. To battle. Peace on us for profit. Yes, Lord. Yeah, right. A most honorable victory, my noble. They've already been given the opportunity for peace. Don't really lose anyone.
Yes, my lord. Your orders, noble one. Leave me be, infidel. Empty. So they're just going home. Your orders? Joining Empty. My master despises you. Fine, let him go home. Alright, so. Plus, we still gotta do that mission. Alright, so let's get the small church in here. Anything else? Nope. Okay, moving on. Okay, we're definitely gonna need to buff up our defenses at Venice. This is not good. Ah, damn it, maybe I should have actually sunk him. Oh, hindsight, what a bitch. We bring word for you. Um sure, I suppose. We cannot thank you. Well, that seemed fruitful. Farewell. Leave me be, infidel. Empty. Did we finish the mission? Blockade port. We're still gonna do it for one more turn. Crusade grows, Hungary's on it. Okay, fine. So the Holy Roman Empire and Venice have a new alliance. Interesting. Yes, my lord. There's a lot of Sicilian navies around here. Is it not obvious I am your foe, infidel? Prepare to board and engage! Our fleet is your orders, noble one. With God's blessing and yours, we march to After we've captured this, we're going to have to come up here question, and retake this. I don't think they're going to be able to repel us. Forces report. Yala, my sultan wishes you dead. Well, these guys aren't going to get free upkeep anyway, so get people guard. Actually, no. Maybe we'll go and have high upkeep. Let's look at the stat differences. Pretty big stat differences, but yeah. I'll go with the Italian militia should be fine. Okay, there you go. Okay, we can increase taxes here at Milan, which we need. We need the money. What about at Venice? Yeah, we can up the taxes there. It's already got high taxes. Okay, moving on. We have a proposition for you. You're blackmailing the Pope. You go right ahead, dickhead. You're gonna yeah, lose your territory if you until do that. Until next time. It's a pretty weak threat as well. So they just walked off. That's good. So these guys want to go for round two. Alright, so. We should definitely head to we are under siege. Defend the walls with Tunis the afterwards to try and defend them. It's a shame. It's a good settlement, that one. Hopefully they don't sack it. Well, I'm not sure if they paid all their tribute, but I think they did. We'll give them an order, an opportunity. We will listen, but I cannot say we will agree. Nope, they won't do it. Let's see. How could you ask these nope. of us? This meeting. Fine, well, then you're gonna lose some territory. So they gave us three papal guard over here. That's pretty good, I suppose. Good, it's only occupied. Yes. We will not surrender these waters. Yeah, we need to clear out all these, these damn ships out of the way. Attacking on your command. Victory! Prepare to board and engage. Our fleet is... Oh, well, you're on that. Well, yes, you know, declared war on me, you stupid shit. Victory! Well, we're not going to be able to make it back here in time. Oh, I can make it to the port. Yes, my lord. 
Oh well. Anyway, let's take this back. God will be with us, men. To battle. We shall claim victory in God's name, men. To battle. You know, you give them a chance. You say, "Hey, look, we'll give you peace in exchange for money," and they're like, "Yeah, we'll we'll pay the fine." And then they come straight back at us again after they've paid the fine. Yeah, you wouldn't have room too. Okay, what are we doing next? Okay, I would prefer that you guys are used in reserve because you're our best troops. These be used first. Where are the letters? So those two got the letters first, followed by a police crossbow. Okay, all the units are in the same spot, so we've got to start moving around this way. They'd leave one of them here. And they've got enough units to adequately defend the walls. So we're going to try and make them spread out. Spread their defenses thin. Okay, there's only one tower there. So we should be able to break through that easily. Without getting shot. Uh, too badly. If you come at it from this angle here, you won't get shot quite as much. Reach the gate with the battering ram. There we are. Oh, because of Pizmar, this way. Right. The battering ram has done its work. Now is the time for brave hearts and brave deeds. Right, drop this. You drop that. Cool. They're bringing in their cavalry. That's easy for these um spearmen to deal with. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Pope Gregory needs to get over here. Just to provide morale. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. His arch has got 200 shreds. A bit of a grind fest here. And like I said, we don't send the Pope into, into combat. That's not his role. Even though, you know, the General's bodyguard will do quite well. Just 
So far, our uh, mercenary spearmen are doing a really good job. I think we can speed this up. It's so stupid to come out and attack us like this. They should have kept them in reserve for a better opportunity. Is there a general coming over in this wave as well? Yeah, this guy here is their general. So this is what I was talking about, about thinning the, out the defences. They're uh, spotting us over here. Keeping an eye on us to make sure that, you know our archers don't get up on the walls. But while that's going on, these guys here are tearing through their cavalry. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. They've still got quite a bit of cavalry left though. You should be free to get up on the walls now. These guys here having a bit of a rest. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. could stand here and shoot down at them, that would be great. Looks like they're making a... something on here. Looks like, they're, yeah, they're making a run for it. That's fine. Yeah, you guys come over here and open the gates. Not you. Okay, now I want two of these guys in here. And we're going to do the usual thing of holding this position here while shooting them from there. These two here just stay in the rear, because I anticipated these ones here are going to run forward. Alright, let's do it. Probably best if we shoot the Italian speed militia, because these cavalry aren't going to do much to us. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Make sure the Pope is close by to me. Make sure these guys here fight as much as possible to the death. Battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. 
stay out here. And let them keep shooting. That's okay, these guys here have had a chance to rest, so they're in good shape now. Yeah, shoot them, they're giving us the most problems. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. My lord! Curses! Our men no longer command the castle! <laughs> He's the only guy that's left. Come on, I don't want to sit in the purple guard. We can kill him. Like I said, when it comes to this angle here, it's really inaccurate. Oh well, off you go. Excellent! Our men We are blessed! The enemy general is dead. We have said all of Christendom will be awed by the victory. Good. We Only have the mercenary spearmen took any damage. Oh, oh maybe one or two of the crossbowmen died, but nothing. So it's a Christian settlement occupied. This victory. Our courage has prevailed. These lands are yours, my lord. So he's become quite honourable. Yes, my lord. Alright, so we're leaving behind, Your let's see... Just a unit of peasant archers should do it. Your orders, number one. Your it's not there necessarily to win. But just to orders, maintain public order, one. should be fine. Orders. Bless you, Lord. Back on dry land. Your order. Talk is cheap. Come face me. Yes, your orders, Yeah, I just can't one. make it there to him. Your orders, number one. We're better off yes, going by, by C next turn, but you stay right there. Probably court here will be fine. Yes, my lord. Prepare to board and engage. Good. Our fleet is So we want to make sure these guys here don't go anywhere. Your orders? They're going to suffer for what they did. Sort of. Gonna kill them. Venetian merchant. I try you for heresy. Oh, I should really be trying this guy here for heresy. Noble lord. Yeah, just keep the diplomat around. Okay, got a little bit of money, let's construct. Okay, we can increase taxes here. We can justify having a few additional units here. Because the Venetians will probably come back here at some point. Okay, so what do we need? Actually, now that I think about it, You're putting a fort here, or... Yeah, here, would protect... Italy from from attack. Oh shit! Show Can't fight the battle manually. Is still with us. Regroup, Your Majesty. Yes, as my Lord wills. We march to battle. Ah. And we get a new general. Go. Cool. A most honourable victory, my noble Lord. I can. Your orders, noble one. And that actually worked out quite nicely for us because we managed to get a unit with yes. fewer numbers in them. Your Majesty. So you go back over there. Do these not have? No, no, no. They don't get free upkeep because it's only got four units. Your orders, number um, one. Yes. Should be able to put a fort there. Yes, my lord. And then you Your go and govern Milan. Your orders, number one. 
good. If the Venetians come over here, this will act as a bit of a warning sign. They'll besiege that for a turn, giving us a chance to recruit some more troops. Your orders, number one. Okay, at Venice here. Pretty much majority Catholic, so I wouldn't have to worry about that too much. But extra on the council chamber might help. Keep the taxes nice and high. Good, let's move on. Main hope is that Sicily don't make their attack. Let's see, what did I say? We may actually want to make more forts along besieged. here, just to keep making them take as long as possible to get to us. Actually, I'll give them the option for peace now as well. I've taken all the territory I want from them. Blockade the port of Bologna. But when did we become at war with them? Oh, they blockaded our port. What a moron. Holy Roman Empire excommunicated. Why would they keep attacking the yes, bloody Pope? Uh, we can't get to him. Maybe, maybe a ship here would help. Just have the cheaper stuff. Your orders, number one. All right, so here would be the ideal spot for a um, a fort, but I don't think I can place it there because this guy is here. Yes. Place it here, though. We shall not surrender this position, my lord. Your orders, number one. Yeah, just throw him in there. Yes. And recruit my lord. one. Actually, we, we should recruit a few new troops. Oh. Can only do two a turn. That's fine. Actually, we we can recruit some more from Milan. Orders. And send them over. Yes. So once they've broken through this uh, fort here, we'll Same give them the op option for peace, because I've taken the settlement back now. But an offer of peace should be offered to the Holy Roman Empire as well. Noble Lord, we do not trust you, so this had best be good. Nine. Only but, a dumb cop would accept this. This meeting was disappointing. So it's kind of cool to be able to use these inquisitors. Yeah. Once, once you've um. Okay, they bug it off. You want us gone? Where the hell they go? Do something about it. Admiring the yeah, enemy. Huh? Yes, my lord. You want us gone? Then do something about it. It'd be good to sink them, but at the same time we need to get to um need to get over here. So it'd be good for, for them to join up with us. Your orders, number one. Your orders? I really want to sink this though. Admiring Looks like we only need enemy. one ship, so Yes, my lord. Separating the fleets. Closing to engage, my lord. Empty! My master despises you. Yes. yes. Your orders, number one. Boarding at once, number one. Prepare to board and engage. Our fleet is victor. You want us gone? Then do something about Can you get it. Get over there. Plotting course Set the ship. We okay, yeah. Surrender these waters. Let's try and sink them. So send another war galley yes, over sir. there. Breaking away from the fleet. Bye bye. It's your own fault. You declared war on me. You excommunicated. <laughs> What, what do you expect? So Palermo doesn't look like it's well defended, especially now that their uh, their army has been defeated at sea. Bless you, Lord. Back on dry land. Your order, yes, my lord. Combining the fleets. Your orders. Full sails. Oh, my relation with Sicily is abysmal. Oh. Yes, my lord. Dropping anchor until morning. Alright, what are we doing? 
Obviously, Rome being blockaded isn't good. It's not that bad either. Okay, so do you know what? Let's just build that. It doesn't look like we're making a whole lot of money each turn now. Because they're not paying their tribute anymore. So this region here, I'm supposed to um, convert it to a city. That was the plan in the first place. So that'll be... That'll be demolished upon upon conversion anyway. Okay, if that's the case, forget this. Do that. That way we can make a little bit more money out of it. Because I really don't need a castle there. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Few ships here and there is not a big deal. Disengage. After all, we Retreat. took out their uh, their army. This is as far Come as on, Byzantines. Don't be a dick. That's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to be a dick. The enemy lays siege, my lord. But God is... The fleet is under attack. We shall continue tomorrow, my lord. It's okay. We can easily get their ships back. Despicable treachery. They took out one of my diplomats. I mean, it's not a big deal, but still. I don't know why they would bother with that. So, war with the Byzantine Empire and Papal States. Fine. So, how many wars are we going on now? Five. Soon to be four. Sicily will be knocked out soon. Unless they accept peace, save their own ass. What is it you wish to discuss? I do not believe I'm able to accept this. The king will have a okay, proposal then. Excellent. Oh, this is England. Whoops, I thought it was. The pleasure was all ours. Sister, well. um, what's called these guys? Oh well, we, it's fine. I mean, what we could do here just Orders. send him straight into there. The day is ours, Lord. The enemy are beaten. Oh, these are cheaper in upkeep. Noble Lord, we have conquered. Yes. Yeah, our defense is here being bolted. Alright, so let's try him for heresy. Because he's a heretic. So these are the inquisitors that I have. Send him into Italy so I can use him to get rid of enemy agents, I suppose. Yes. You want us gone? Then do something about it. We will not surrender. Okay, after we after we've taken Palermo, we'll, we'll head to um, Naples. So take care of this ship here. Prepare to board and engage. Our fleet is once again, even though it's against my better judgment, I will offer them peace. We suspect you will waste our time. You had best not. Keep suggesting things like this. That's fine. Then I will. Uh, I will take Pelham. We will engage them honorably, my lord. Without question, we shall begin the siege. It's a fortress. Besieging forces reporting, my lord. Yes, my lord. Attacking on your command. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need some more ships. Not making enough cash to, to build stuff because we've got to keep recruiting. That's okay. Taking Palermo is going to be pretty good for us. Your orders? Yes, my lord. Closing to engage, my lord. I don't think they're going to be able to win at Tunis. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to go back to them because after we've taken Naples, I think we should take Bologna. These guys are a huge cancer inside of our territory. And taking taking this. Will uh, completely kick them out of Italy and give me control of all of Italy. Well, sort of. 
there's nothing else I can do yes, right man. now. Oof, this went to the fucking window. Okay, moving on. Succeed. Yes, good job guys. Stupid visit teens. I didn't I didn't think I'd actually win that. But we did. I made the thieves guild. So it might help if we build up our garrison quarters so that we can actually train spearmen. In order to resolve peasants don't count for shit. So we need to make sure at least next time that it's better protected. It should take the Byzantines quite some time to come back here. Yes. Is it not obvious I am your foe, infidel? I'm not yours to command. Yes, my lady. Attacking on your command. Victory! Plotting course now, my lord. Your order, right, so Sicily one. is about With to lose Sicily. blessing and yours, we march to battle. I've got some good units here. Dismounted Norman knights. They're not going to go down so easily. We crossbowmen will tear them to pieces. Though. God will help the faithful prevail. We attack. I mean, all they have to do is just not attack the Pope. That's all they have to do. Soldier. Plenty of other lands they could have attacked. All right. So, how are we going to go about this? I usually like crossbowmen on the ladders and these guys on the, um, the ram. Okay, there's another entrance over there. Let's see if you can take that. Okay, you'll come through here. They'll go through hopefully undefended sides. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so this isn't defended at all. Open the gates. See, so they don't have enough troops to spot for all of my uh, my siege equipment because I've got six siege equipment. They've only got four units. Our men have reached the gate with the battering ram. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. Okay, peasants coming through here. What should we do about that? I mean, he'll be able to easily defeat them. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Fight them right in the middle here, so these towers aren't active. Right there. Let's bring in some cavalry, so that when these inevitably break, we can actually run them the down. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Go around that back. So the unit on the wall here, dismounted Norman Knights, okay. What are they doing? For the long way around. Oh, they can't do it because we haven't got access to the next area. We won't fucking run them down. That's so stupid. One of the worst things about this game. Come on. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Slowly getting them, a little bit at a time. Alright, cool. 
Yeah, then. Looks like you're gonna have to get back on the ramp. And you just knocked down this section. Cool. So what we should do, is get our guys up on the walls here, spear them in there, and shoot the crap out of them. It's kind of silly that they're not even trying to defend this area, but whatever, that's up to them. If they want to just roll over and die, that's up to them. The battering ram is in place. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. Uh, I don't think we need that. Come in over here. And you lot stuck coming in over here. Send reinforcements. I need to bring some more troops in as well. Our men have reached the gate with the battering ram. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. I don't really want to fight them out here. The towers can shoot at us. So what are they gonna do? Right, we'll drop the ladders. And of course, dismounted Norman knights are gonna specialize in dealing with spearmen. Definitely don't think I should send my crossbowmen up on the walls here. Not with those armored sergeants there, but there's nowhere else I can put them. Hang on. And they can't put the wall, uh, the ladders up there. Can't get over to there. Yeah, see, they're not doing a very good job against the Norman knights. Alright, I have to send in the mailed knights in. Because we need our spearmen to take out the general's bodyguard. Not these guys here, because they're not going to break either. See, so yeah, they're doing exactly what they should be doing. Blocking us from coming in here while using the towers to shoot at us. So we have to put a stop to this right away. Do that with high attack, low defense units. Mailed knights. So we need them to push right through them as much as possible. Push them back. So you give them move orders and attack orders simultaneously so that they just push them right the fuck back. Speeding up the combat here. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Soon they'll break.
Okay, good, they're backing off. Silly decision for them to make. Oh, fine by me. Come on, don't let these guys get away. They turned out Pebble Guard and spearmen into mincemeat. Now, we don't really want to go into combat with them, I suppose. So this guy's here, just come here and stay put. Good, they can shoot over the this obstruction here. Shoot the general's bodyguard. Take me to keep shooting them. Oh, well, we got plenty of ammo, so if he just wants to sit there, we'll keep shooting him. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle. And excellent! The cowardly enemy king flees from battle. Such a coward does not deserve to live. I agree. So let's kill him. Alright, now I want you to come in over here. You guys move up a little bit. The problem is the angle that they're shooting at is really not very good. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are okay, winning the battle back. and forging a worthy victory. Okay, no, no, no. Put my guard mode to move. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men! This fucking section here makes it so difficult to do what I want to do here. Oh man, they just absolutely the battle is in our chewed favor. up my crossbow. We here. remain true and wholehearted. Oh, well. Victory will be ours. What a pain. The enemy Got king lies dead, slain by our brave soldiers. Attack! This is why I wanted to get rid of their cavalry their first, but this team here just made it so difficult to shoot. Because these, um, these guys here do. No, no, those ones. The armored sergeants don't account for shit. Yeah, we finished them off. I was on the crossbow militia, right? although they're basically the same. Yeah. Okay, if they break now, it's over. Praise the Lord. All of Christendom will. Good. Few casualties, but you know we took on a fortress. To be expected. A most honorable victory, my noble lord. God be praised for blessing. Noble lord. All right, I'll give you another chance for peace. We will listen, but I cannot say we will agree. No. Nope. You must. Fine. Well, well then, you know. I'll t I'll be taking your capital probably next turn if I can get there. Your orders? And then, well, that's just the end of Sicily, then, isn't it? Yeah, armor side is better. Now we can get knights from here. Your orders, noble one. Your majesty. Knight footman. 
Public order should be fine. Full sails. Your orders, noble one. Orders. Bless you, Lord. Back on dry land. We will engage. You know, we've given them every opportunity Lord. for peace, question, and you just, the they just will not accept Besieging it. Will they? Forces reporting, my Lord. Yes. Yes, my lord. Plotting course now, my lord. Good. So this has been converted, but you know, with it under blockade, it's not gonna make much money. Yes. Empty. Few ships I there. Need more. You. Well, I don't have any cash, so I can't really do anything about that. An order? Yes, my lord. Did you expect us to be happy to see you? How could you ask these of us? More keep offering and to keep projecting. Eventually, I'll be sending troops over here to stop them, to take him out. Or maybe I'll cross over to Ragusa. Or maybe they'll do that. Your orders, number one. Anyway, we're out of cash, so let's move on. You're definitely not a heretic. Where'd Mother Inquisitor go? An honor. Once again, we'll give them the option to uh, for reconciliation. They certainly reject it. Fine. Time spent. Yes, my lord. This guy here's just going to turn to rebels. Honorably, my worthy foe. This is your last we chance. Listen, but I cannot say we will agree. No. Nope, they want to lose. They want to die. Fine. Unless, unless they've actually got territory down here. Let's just see. If we go to this and then go Sicily. How many territories do they have? They've actually got three territories. So this is not the end for them. They've still got land down here. I didn't think about that. It's not a big deal. I mean, they, they kicked out of Italy. And then we'll give them the opportunity to for peace again. But Palermo actually makes a decent amount of money, thanks to a little bit of mining. Most of it's coming from taxes, though. Can actually turn into a citadel. Alright, well we gave you a chance for peace, and you choose order, death instead. Fair Lord enough. Will be with us, men. The Inquisition Combat has arrived. Be ready to give all for God and Kingdom men! To I say we go full out attack on this. So what units do they have up here? Italian spear militia and Italian spear militia. Well, the um, the papal guard are much higher tier than them, so they'll they'll turn the Plus, I think the Purple Guard are actually unbreakable. I'm not 100% certain about that. It's just I've never seen them break. It doesn't actually say specifically that they are unbreakable. The ladders are now in place. Walls are no match for valor and force of arms. Damn. Can we get the other room? So these ones here, chicken shitting out of it. We should be able to capture the wall. It here. is unwise to praise the day before sunset 
But our men are winning. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Let's bring the rest. We'll get back to Rome soon. And we can reinforce with more paper guard if we really need to. These guys here. The enemy force do remains. There's a dick in the render right there. Okay, it's just cavalry left now, so easy for these guys to finish them off. Unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. The enemy king lies dead, slain by our brave soldiers. Attack while his men mourn their loss. My lord, our men have taken control of the city. The enemy flees the... This is a clear victory! Good. Few casualties, nothing major though. Has granted his faithful so yeah, it victory. definitely wasn't the end of Sicily. God has okay, delivered so us this they must victory. have um, Tripoli, but I don't know what else they'd have. The only settlement after that is like all the way over here, unless they've got territory. I don't think so. It's good we can replace our numbers here. Stay there for the turn, I suppose. So I've already given the opportunity for peace. They wouldn't take it. Yeah, we'll go with that. See, these cost 215 upkeep, which is the same as these, except they're way better. The next stop after we've cut our way through here, we take Bologna. Then we double back, capture Ajaccio, or however it's pronounced, I don't know. An honor. Okay, let's build some stuff. So how are we going out here? Looks like Ven is buggered off, fine by me, so I don't need to recruit anymore. Good, let's move on. It's been out to Jackie it sounds like ejaculation. I don't know, fuck me. Someone to see? Yes, Lord. King Rhino. God will see justice we'll served in our battles. Rhino. Trying to... You want us your orders? Admiring the enemy. These are the Reich's waters. Prepare to board and engage. Crushed him. 
Our fleet is back. Your orders, noble one. Your majesty. If we go on the boat, could we possibly get to Rome? Yes. Yes, my lord. Public order here should be fine. Yes. My concern though is that they're going to come besiege it. Maybe I should go over there and kill him. I seek an honorable engagement, dear foe. You want us gone? Then do something about it. You know what? You're absolutely right. What have you got? God will see justice served in our battles. Of course, my lord. Yes. Orders. Onward. Bringing our troops together. Move out. Merging yes, the public order would be fine. Your Don't need thieves guild. Bringing our troops to order, number one. We will engage them honorably, my lord. Blessed lord, we thank you for delivering us. Huh? God's blessing what do you say? He said, if you want us gone, then do something about it. So I shall. We have a much larger army than them, so victory is certain. Actually, come down over here. But let's see how much damage they do to us. Well, so far they're getting torn to shreds. Fucking skirmish mode. Okay, everyone aim for the kick. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset. But our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Oh, he's trying to be a militia. Let's get, get back a bit. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. So the battle's just about won. The majority of the Sicilian forces have been crushed. The enemy king is slain. A worthy enemy, but no less a dead for that. We must press our advantage. The enemy flees right, the battle. Capture them. Run down those worthless peasants. But since these are these Catholics here aren't necessarily responsible for their king's action, they'll be released. If we had captured the king, it would have been fair to ransom him, but he died instead. Anyway, it's quite possible that these guys here will, will die anyway, because there's no boat for them to go to. All of Christendom will... Oh, yes. God has granted his faithful this victory! Oh! Well, there you go. They brought it upon themselves. Field tyrant. Ugh. Your orders, noble one. Fun by me. All right. Yes. Make camp, men. Now we're gonna make our way back. So that's one war out of the way. Your 
Rogers? Yes. Yeah, you need you to pick them up and bring them up here faster. Hiring them is not going to help. If we lose Cagliari, it's not the end of the world. Okay, I don't have a lot of cash, so... I want to invest in, in things over here that's going to make me more cash. Like that. A lot of unrest, but that's okay. So, we've almost reached a huge city. Once we've done that, we'll get the Marian reforms. Ah, wrong game. Okay, so... Probably just... Oh, considering we don't have lots of money, just go for the cheaper stuff. We'll get some population growth from that. Actually, why don't we go with the uh, grain exchange? It's not going to be a lot of extra money, but it's a cheap building. Decent. Yes, my lord. I'm not yours to command. Don't cough. Joining our fleets, my lord. Because once these guys can be retrained, give them all that experience. Your orders, noble one. So yeah, these guys need to be retrained at Florence. Okay, moving on. So we're an hour and 17 minutes into this episode, and I'm just curious to know, to think, how much longer is Gregory going to live? Yeah, maybe I should recruit more troops there, but you know, I just did recruit one. Lord, the enemy laid siege. What shall we do? We'll kick the Holy Roman Empire out of Italy, and then of course we've got to take all of these settlements back off the moors. My lord, the enemy laid siege. What shall we do? Because I very much doubt. Oh, wait, well, no, it doesn't matter. Very much doubt they're going to win here. We just didn't have enough. There's no diplomats over here to try and get a peace treaty with them. Your orders, number one. Ah, just get moving by land. Of course, need them to sink these. Attacking on your command! Victory! Get back over here. Yes. This thing be retrained. Your orders, number one. So, you know, it'll take them a few turns, but it's, it's alright. Rest here. We'll ra raise a strong navy, then we'll just make our way down this way. So far, the Holy Roman Empire hasn't really done anything major against us. It's been good now that Sicily's gone. We can we can focus on the um, on the Moors. As you know, as soon as we kick them out. So, how old are you? You're 54 years old. Hmm. I feel like we can still get another episode out of him. Maybe if I end it now. Because previously he was at the age of 50, 48, so it's been 6 years. Well, it's only another 10 minutes. Doesn't matter if the next episode's a bit short. Alright, let's see what should we do. The armored sergeants are quite good units. Decent stats, and they don't cost that much. But at the same time, they don't get free upkeep, so. I don't know. Like, money's not super tight, but it's not so tight that we can waste money on large garrisons. Because that's, that's the number one way to go broke, is with overblown garrisons that just sit there doing nothing. But everywhere is constructing. Doesn't matter. Look, if it comes under attack, the Pope will just come down and retake it. It's fine. In fact, we're actually getting to the point where we could afford to have an auto resolve army. Well, we'll see how we go. Moving on. So, Bologna's gotten pretty damn big. 
in terms of the garrison. Sucks. Hopefully they just occupy it, don't ruin the settlement. But I'll be back. Shame to see this guy die. Ooh, hang on, he might not. Damn it. Oh well. I probably could have won that manually, but order resolves a different story. So the Pope received reports of the Moors taking these settlements and was very displeased by it. Do you know whose fault it is? Fucking Sicily, Holy Roman Empire, and Venice. Tunis got sacked. Someone to see. So you stay over here just in case anyone lands here. Admiring the enemy. Your orders, noble one. Right. So next turn we'll arrive yes. at Florence. We shall continue at first light. Yeah, chuck us. Yeah, give us orders. these two units. Onward. Merging armies. Good. These are settlements up north are in much better shape than what's going down in the south. Okay, so expect Moors to show up here any day, or any turn. So we need to buff up the garrison up here. It's a terrible amount of money coming from mining. Just something cheap, just sort of constructing something. An extra armor for these guys wouldn't hurt. They're not going to get anything out of that one, but if we continue to upgrade it, they will. Wouldn't worry about them right now. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll I'll raise an army at at Venice to go and defeat the Venetians out this way. I mean, we'll have to do it via auto resolve, obviously. But that's okay. We seem to have enough money. We're accumulating cash, and we the Pope just can't be everywhere at once. After he's dealt with uh, with Bologna, he has to come down here, and Bologna is not going to be that easy unless we fight them out in the field, which would be preferable. Crush them out in the field. Yes, my lord. Give him another opportunity have for a ceasefire. For the Kaiser's forgiveness? Won't have it. Nine. This meeting was disappointing. And Same with them. On my way. Today's journey. Otherwise, I'm going to take their territory. Okay, moving on. See, these um, Inquisitors will move on their own. Merchant's Guild in Genoa. Fine. There's only 21 chances of success, but it's fine. No, we're not accepting peace with the Moors, not until I've taken these three settlements back. And maybe even then. Orders. Yes, Lord. This is where we shall meet then. As my Lord wills. We must <coughs> A most honorable yeah, victory, right. my Fuck noble off. lord. Good thing we recruited those units there. Yeah, just... Can we merge them? Because I might need to recruit more. Yes. Orders. Okay. Your orders, noble one. So we spend a turn at Florence here. Yes. Okay. Your Majesty, my lord. Your orders, noble one. Your orders, noble one. Orders. Your Move out. Your Majesty. So right now I'm done. Yes. Orders. Move out. Your Majesty. Yes, my lord. Orders. Onward.
Alright, sounds good. So yeah, he's recruiting a you know relatively shit stack. It's got some papal guard in it, which which would be good. I would like to build that, but just go with something cheaper for the time being. I'm trying to spend too much so we can save up money to, to purchase that. Noble Lord. This is your running out of chances, Holy Roman Empire. Okay, so they're actually, they're actually kind of willing now. Hmm. I mean, he hasn't really done any damage to us. It is the Catholic thing to do, I suppose. We'll offer these things, but he must pay a fine for his blockading of our ports. Nine, I may not accept this. Well, if you don't accept the fine, oh, then yeah. I'll take Bologna. Did you expect us to be happy to see you? All oh, right. How could you ask these of us? More damage than good was done here. problem there with the Byzantines. And here comes the more, so yeah, we're gonna need some knights. And feudal knights. Egypt and Hungary. But isn't the crusade currently going on? Yes it is. Someone to see. Emperor Heinrich the Watcher. Maybe the next emperor will be a little bit more reasonable. Naturally, my lord. Your orders, noble one. Yes. Make him pay for not paying his fine. God will be with us, men. To battle. Without question, we shall begin the siege. It's gonna be a bloody big fight, though. But I expect most of his troops are just gonna be militia. So how now he's become the mauler. So keep him coming. When it's a full stack, we'll send him out over there. Your orders? I need to uh, retrain these ships. Orders, number one. Okay, well look, we're right on an hour and a half, just about. So this is a good spot to end the episode here. And we're still going to get another one out of um, out of Gregory. So yeah, like and subscribe. Part one point three is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.